Alright, me Zafties, so we're back with a brand new video. Today, a bit maybe a serious one or a kind of informational one, I guess you could say. And we're going for what I look for in clothing. So this comes down to a bunch of things. I think, like, I was getting more deep into it. When I wear clothing, it has to, like, it matches my mood. So if I'm not feeling very happy, it will be black. Like, I would subconsciously go towards black. Like, I'm sure there is psychology behind it. I would, like, I'm sure I've read somewhere before. And if I'm feeling a wee bit better, then I'll go for brighter colours. But if I'm having a really good day, then you'll probably see outfits like the one on my Insta that's using the Easter 18s with, like, the off-white belt, the, the Levi jeans, etc. So I think it generally stems from that, like, the last couple of months have not been doing very well mentally or physically. Um, so when we were leaving the house, when I was going to work, I was wearing a lot of black subconsciously as well like I wouldn't actively pick it out like it was just like that's the only thing I've seen in my wardrobe and it still happens to this day I put on a brighter colour today because I was like I'm not gonna wear black again because I swear I've worn my like fleece like, like every single video like the last five or something it just depends on how I'm feeling so that's been a hard one to kind of get out of and it's still there and I'm, hopefully after this lockdown's done I can start experimenting again with colours and just try and push myself mentally to be like right you can wear other, everything other than black even when you're sad right it's, it's completely like normal to be and it's completely normal to do i think i wear it because it's like it draws less attention to myself so i'd like if i'm not in the mood or if i'm not feeling it then i don't need to like nobody will like it'll, less people will be like drawn to me like drawn to talk to me or drawn to look at me and that's how i want it like i'm perfectly fine with that but i need to get that out of my head so colors definitely does stem from my mood um so black's been my definite color the last couple of months I'm not gonna get into it don't need to get into it here but we move we, we move so I'm going to like split the different categories up so we're going to have like hats, jackets, hoodies, t-shirts, trousers, shoes that's like and then we'll go through it so with hats I don't wear like a lot of hats if I was to wear a hat it would be like my supreme beanie like my black one again it's just my go-to the colour again is black don't know why I've got my white one but I don't wear that as much because the fit's a wee bit like off like it's been stretched so it's not as good and then if, to, if I had to wear a cap like it has to be a dad cap like I can't wear a flat like the flat brim ones like I can't so I've got a couple dad caps as well but I wear them only I'm wearing them a lot because my hair right now and I get really self-conscious about my hair so I try and cover it up because my hairline is horrendous and I'm not going to show it because I'm not going there but my go-to beanie is supreme beanies like you see the over dyed beanies the fit is beautiful on them like they fit perfectly not too oversized the material is quite strong as well so it's not too like flimsy which is really clean got a small box logo in the front for the hype beast obviously but the black one just works so well with many different outfits that i wear and it's black again so it, it does help so beanies is kind of beanies and dad caps is what i look for in hats preferably like darker colors to be fair with jackets, like I don't really wear jackets, like I've got a couple, like I've got my like puffers, I've got my like bomber jackets and stuff, but if I was to wear a jacket like it would go to my puffer because I live in Scotland and it's literally like freezing all the time so if I'm wearing a jacket it's probably just like my North Face puffer one or something like pure like roadman style you know. And with the jackets like again if I needed to pick a colour like it would be the darker colours like stick to blacks or greys or something just so it doesn't draw away too much from like any other part of the outfit. Next we have hoodies, so hoodies is literally what I'm primarily in. Hoodies or sweatshirts I guess you could say. I don't like just wearing t-shirts a lot, so if I've got something over it, it, it helps. Again, because I'm not the most confident, I'm quite self-conscious, so I like to wear oversized like baggy hoodies or like box fit hoodies. I've got a, pair of, a couple ones that are my like, go-to, I've got like my Vital Studios ones that you've seen in a video in the past, and my Miki one, which you've also seen, the Sherpa one, it's very clean. I also wear like quite a lot of fleeces as you've seen in previous videos like the last five because I swear I wore it in every single episode but it's, it's just a clean um, fleece that you can't see in the back yet because there's a secret behind it and you're not getting to find out probably not till even like next year or something and it's I need to get my finger out. So definitely it needs to be like oversized boxy because it's just how I feel with it like I can't have them too tight or like fit like differently because it just makes me feel really like weird and like like I don't know it just makes me feel really self-conscious about it my hoodies again like I have a couple black ones but I usually stick to like brighter colours in hoodies my fleeces and my sweatshirts like again colourful my fleeces are quite like the same colour they're all kind of black uh, <laughs> I see a trend trend happening here 
but the fit is definitely oversized, boxy colours, kind of just whatever I can pick up, like if I see a nice hoodie. My grail of a hoodie is the Kappa C2H4 over like the undecayable one with the, the, like, the Kappa straps down the hood, it looks so nice and it's like generally my grail and I'm, I hope to get it one day, hopefully. With t-shirts, kind of the same as the hoodies, like I like them to be oversized and boxy thicker material as well because if they're too thin then I just feel weird about it and then obviously if they're too small then I just feel really self-conscious about it. This video is deep, um, I didn't think I was going to go this deep but yeah. I think when it comes to t-shirts like I like to, like, I usually get H&M ones which are like 3 99 each because like they're really cheap and I don't really show them off very much but I like I've, I've got a couple like Vital Studios ones again which is an insane brand and I've got a couple like Supreme ones that I don't really wear anymore but like even this one is like a H&M one it cost me like 3 99 and I just got a bunch of them just different colours because I don't really show them that often. Obviously I've got a couple ones that I do wear like my ASOS coll collusion ones but I kind of stand to like getting cheaper t-shirts because I don't like wearing t-shirts on their own because again I'm self-conscious. This is going to be a really repeating video of that kind of term. Um, again I didn't think it would get as deep but I'm not going to go like too much into it but like I think it's good to speak about this because it means that like I'm telling you what I look for in clothing so I'm being truthful here like how I feel about everything and how I've been feeling so I guess I'm just telling you the truth with how I actually what I look for in clothing and I guess that's what everybody's looking for anyway. So I'm, I'm being truthful right, you can't, can't fault me. Trousers is one of the last ones we've got shoes after this but trousers are weird like I used to, like I, I wear shorts a lot like in the house. I also wear like cotton sometimes but I hate wearing cottons outside like I just think it looks so trampy but like that's just me. Like it's not even that it looks it, it's just that I feel it when I'm wearing them outside, like I feel like everybody's looking at me and I'm just, no, it's no good. So I usually stick to like cords um, or smart like trousers or uh, like sh straight leg jeans or skater jeans. So definitely like wider fitting jeans with like, like I like cropped jeans because I like to show my socks. I'm a weirdo, right? Like I like to have like my socks on show because I have like different coloured socks. Absolute weirdo, I know, but I. So like when I'm going to work in that I usually wear like my smart trousers or my cords or like sometimes if it's really hot which is really rare because it is Scotland I'll wear my shorts. Again so with the trousers I kind of stick to like kind of greys, blacks, like light denim if I'm going for de like jeans. Like I don't like dark denim and I don't like wearing like out there trousers a lot. I will try them out sometimes like with different designs but not a lot like I don't like them being massively like in your face. I like my shoes to do the talking, but I, I mean, even at that, like, I never get lucky with sneakers, so... Come on, Nike sneakers. Sort your shit out. So lastly, shoes. If you've subbed to this channel for a while, you'll actually know, like, I'm obsessed with Jordans, I'm obsessed with Air Force Ones, and that's really all I wear. Like, I've got my Crocs, which are absolutely banging, by the way. If you've not got a pair of Crocs, they are absolute godsend. I wear mine, like, all the time, and they're absolutely, like, beautiful. My Crocs, one pair of New Balances I've got. I've got a couple of pairs of Ultra Boosts. I've got two pairs of Yeezys. Hype Beast, I know, I don't wear them at all. Like, I've got, like, eight pairs of Air Force Ones and, like, six pairs of Jordans. I tend to wear more, like, the Jordans and Air Forces. I just like how they fit, how they feel on my foot as well. The Ultra Boost I wear when I'm like running or going out walks or whatever. I love the the boost in them. That is why like I've got a couple of pairs of easy as well. I, like I like my feet to be comfy and styling at least the ones I can. Shoes I feel is how I express myself. Like I, I don't wear I don't own a black pair of shoes, which is progress if you ask me. So I think my rest of my outfit expresses how I feel inside but like this is like for some reason like with my shoes it's like this is what I wish I could feel like so I always just like go mad on the shoes. So I have kind of been a lot more deep and like into more things this episode or, or this video. Let me know if you are kind of the same in the comments below that would be quite interesting because I think there is a lot of people like that because I think there is psychology behind, behind it but it would be quite nice to kind of find somebody else. Again, the link to the black card and if you can't donate, the link to the YouTube video that is like running and all the revenue is going to like the different parts of it. Uh, parts of the BLM movement will be in the description below. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.